Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Awakening 0% Growth playthrough. We are going to be playing Paralog 4, the Anna Paralog, the other Anna Paralog, today. However, uh, I wanted to point out, this is another example, uh, in my mind, the most prominent example of Awakening have a really big problem with uh, when Paralogs open in relation to what's going on in the story. Right now, the next story chapter is... We just failed to uh, save Emeryn. Oopsie daisy, she's dead. Uh, so the next story chapter is us retreating and fleeing away from there and trying to get away. Um, kind of weird that uh, they would open up a paralogue at that point in the story. Like, you would think... I mean, like, Three Houses, for example, when they have things like that, like, it... You don't even get to go back to the monastery in between. And here it's just like, yeah, you can go go do paralogs in between, which is like, fine, that's a gameplay thing. But to open up a new one just feels so counter to the narrative. Um, I mean, the story in this game is irrelevant. It doesn't make sense. It's stupid anyway. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get that vent over. Uh, I'm going to go into preps now. And I'll be right back. We do get a couple of supports. Uh, Kellum reached A with Robin might end up getting married, at which point, uh, I'm assuming Krom normally automatically marries Sumia, uh, who I'm gonna give the C support with Frederick. Um, it would be kind of nice to try to get Krom, I wish now I'd gotten Krom a C support with Sully, uh, because the Kajel chapter is one of the easier paralogs. I don't know what items it has, but it would be nice to have access, even if I ultimately decide not to go to it. Whereas, Sumia's paralog, um, where you get, uh, I can't remember her daughter's name, uh, but where you get her daughter is one that I'm probably not going to be able to do because it's a ridiculous route map. Um, so, I mean, like, the, the Kajel one is a route map too, but there's, like, some choke points and things. Uh, all of that is relevant. I'm probably not going to do either of them, TBH. Uh, I just was thinking about that when considering like my options regarding uh, Robin and what to do with her. All right, I'll be right back after I distribute tonics and uh, items and whatnot. All right, we are here now um, and I'm gonna start by promoting Tharja to sorceress or sorcerer, sorcerer, sorceress, whichever. Um, which, in addition to giving her a really cool sprite, gives her uh, better stats. I think Dark Knight is supposed to be slightly bulkier. It's definitely more mobile because it has the horse, uh, and you can get like swords with it. Which I don't, I don't know why I would want that on a magical character, but um, like because the Levin sword is what sea swords or something. Um, but she gets slightly less of a defense gain from becoming Sorcerer instead of Dark Knight, but she can still use Dark Magic, which I think Nosferatu is a bigger bulk boost than anything else, uh, anything that Dark Knight has to offer her. Uh, so my first rally strength of the run, and it is a pretty important one. Um, this allows Kellum to one-shot that Myrmidon without using the Silver Lance up. Well, he would have done it anyway, but 84 is a big number. And it also, and this is the important one, it allows Pond to hit the Mage without getting counterattacked. Which, uh... I very much appreciate because fuck mages. Her res is uh, pretty abysmal. Um, and thankfully, this square can't be reached by either of the archers. Eh, where's the. No, wrong. There it is. That's the button I was looking for. Um, as for this side of the map, I have Rick and Maribel here again uh, just to basically just to get support points on them. Um, I am gonna have Tharja try to tank as much as 
she can in terms of these guys. I'll put Okay, deals 10. How much does Nosferatu deal? do is attack with L Thunder so we don't waste a Nosferatu usage. Oh, okay. There we go. Never mind. Plant Krom in range of the we use this. And wait and see what happens. There we go, Frederick retaliating. Uh Anna is sort of the like reason that you would rush again for this map. Um she is the reason that we're doing this paralogue. She's one of the most powerful characters in general, but also in 0% growths. Um, she's another, uh, we'll talk about her when we get her, um, but we can watch her doing the same thing she was doing a few paralogues ago in terms of just mostly dodging, but occasionally getting hit and uh, being slightly RNG dependent on whether or not I can get to her. It would be really nice if she didn't have a steel sword and had something that she could, you know, retaliate with. Uh, the Levin sword is sort of tailor-made for her. I also didn't realize she has a chance of death on uh, the first turn. The way that I often get her in vanilla runs is to use the rescue staff. But uh, that just sort of uh, isn't really viable uh, in 0% because I have to move so many, like, I would have to use an action on Libra um, as opposed to having to be a parrot bot for Tharia um, to rescue. And he's useful for her. He boosts her magic and her defense. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Emulator doesn't care for the Sit your animations for spells. It says no thanks. I love how I just used two Nosferatu uses that I didn't need to use. Um, the other slightly less uh, urgent and slightly less important side objective is uh, getting those chests. These th this thief will uh, get the chest and then run away over here, stealing all of the items that we want. Is anyone else able to... No? Okay, we'll just do that then. a kill with Muriel. Um, I'm not planning on like promoting her or anything. And if I didn't already have Rickon at level 10, like these would be going to him. This is just uh, for um, 
like love growth purposes. There we go. Because uh, I would like to get the Lauren to Paralog. There are a lot of good items there, including the Goddess Staff. There we go. Iron Land. No, no, Iron Lance. There you go. Uh, but I'm attacking with Muriel rather than Rickon. Um, mostly just because Rickon doesn't gain anything from level ups. Muriel theoretically could get to 10 and reclass or promote. Uh, probably isn't going to, but you know, I like having the option. There we go. I don't want you in range of archers. Do that. Get a kill like that. Uh, so theoretically, Cordelia could have used a seal to promote by now. Um, But much like Rickon, I'm trying not to spend money uh, on ones that I don't absolutely need to spend them on. Put you here, items, vulnerary. Uh, I did spend the one on Daria simply because um, I think that she's going to be doing a lot of uh, like tanking. Uh, she comes from Ocean Ready, much like Gregor. Um, I think the Gregor is a better example of like trying to get you to pre-promote or commit to pre to using pre-promotes to promoting early to whatever. Um, but I think that Tharja could also serve as an example of failing. Ooh, Vake, why you gotta do that? Failing that. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Anna is another sort of, like, goofy... Not quite as goofy as Vake and, um... Not quite as vake -y. Goofy is, like, Vake in terms of, like, crit quotes. Switch, talk, recruit Anna. Uh, this is one time when having a promoted Cordelia as opposed to a promoted Tharja would be useful because I could staff up to heal Anna here. Uh, ultimately, I don't think it makes a huge, huge deal. But oh, okay. Um, I'll just leave the javelin equipped. Yeah, and she's gonna be in range of a couple of people. So if I end up. If I end up uh, doing this again, I will probably end up promoting Cordelia. Uh, before I put her at risk of death, let's talk about Anna. She's another character that's sort of a hybrid, like supposed to be strength and magic. She uses swords and stabs, kind of like Libra uses axe and stabs. I do not think that she's a successful hybrid character, though. I think that she's much more magically inclined, even though it's only five points of difference at base. Um, it makes sense to give her a magical pair up. It makes sense to, I think she has a higher magical growth rate, although don't quote me on that. But um, her reclass options are the archer line and the mage line. And I think that the best amongst them is turning her into a sage. Uh, then she retains her high staff rank and is able to use tomes as opposed to relying on just the Levin sword for her uh, ability to do magical damage. I also think just being uh, a dodgy mage is more valuable than being a dodgy sword user. Um, Cause she is supposed to be kind of dodgy. Trickster is a promotion of thief. Yeah, with the iron ax here. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. You can reach there. So 
so we will items uh, do deal 16 attack 10 speed like so not quite enough so we gotta use a silver lance here it's fine Kastabi crawling our way towards rally defense Oh, I didn't realize Frederick already had a Volnery. Never mind. Now I'm a silly goose. Uh, Archer speed of 9. Attack of 20. Just barely survive. Uh, one other thing that might be useful in a future run at this map if I do have to replay it uh, bringing uh, not freaking um, uh, Gaius because he has he's like a thief so he has lock touch and there are a few doors and chests uh, I did not bring him because Anna has lock touch and so she was sort of just going to be my thief for this uh, go at it Oh, nice. Krom getting the kill is a uh, nice there. I would like to... I haven't really been focusing on it. I was thinking about this earlier. Um, but it would be nice to uh, get Krom promoted for the chapter where he and Robin have to 1v1 Valbar. Um, simply because my strat for that chapter is going to be bring a bunch of rally bonds and rally uh, Basilio and or Flavia, whoever I decide to have functionally solo the map. Uh, and in order to do that, I mean, one, Krom being promoted just like increases the chances of, oh, nice 69, um, increases the chances of just being able to even complete that map. Zap, 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 zap. Uh, but it also increases the chances of finding a way to uh, complete that quickly. Okay, I think what we do is we do like a sort of transfer chain. Separate out. There we go, I can kill with fire. And is anyone else able to attack me? No? Okay. So yeah, we'll kill it with fire. And, uh... Again, this is all just to try to get them to get married to each other. Um, because I'm running out of maps where they will both feasibly be deployed. So in retrospect, it does look like uh, getting a um, hmm. well. Now I'm not in a rush for that chest. I could just do this. But in retrospect, it does look like uh, it would have been the smart play to get a. Uh, Get the Master Seal on Cordelia instead. Uh, it would also be Rally Speed is more useful than Vengeance, which are the level 5 skills I'd be working towards um, in either case. So uh, I would like it would make more sense to try to get some promoted experience onto her. Plus, she could get experience from stabbing. Um, so if I have to replay this, oh, 
Nice, this is uh, an axe that is effective against flyers. That's actually going to potentially be very useful for a later clear. Get a large bullion. Uh, I actually think I'm gonna get all the healing experience on Anna that I can. Rather than uh, on Libra. Because I want to get her to level 5 as quickly as possible. Um, I am not getting her to level 10 in order to reclass with the second seal for... So, because Anna is a promoted unit, the way that it works for her is um, I can second seal into any unpromoted class as it is, or I can second seal into a promoted class once I get to level 10. Um, however, uh, you don't get like the level 5 skill that you would get if you... Okay, cool, they're building support points. Do that. Um, and Anna's level 5 skill is lucky 7, which gives her plus hit and avoid for the first 7 turns. Uh, not the most standout thing in the world, but her bulk is going to rely on dodge tanking, uh, which is not a very reliable, you know, strategy. So I would like, uh... I think the way that we do this is we approach from that direction because I don't want to accidentally clear the map before getting these chests, uh, which is something that I find myself doing all the darn time. So I think that if we approach by opening this door down here, Stick you there. Actually, I could probably heal you up with Anna, couldn't I? Yeah, Maribel needs healing. Um, put you there. Put you there. Um, whereas Libra, getting him to level 5 will get me Rally Luck, but I'm not reclassing him. So as much as like Rally Luck would be beneficial in addition to Lucky 7 being beneficial, um, it gives her hit and avoid for the first seven turns too. So it's not just, uh, there we go, zap, zap, zap. Okay, uh, we will trade, or actually, uh, where's you at? I should have another in the convoy, shouldn't I? Nope. Okay, well, we'll trade then. Zap, zap, zap. And Do you deal to Muriel? Not you. You. Okay, cool. So what we do is we switch. Just wanted to make sure that I had the ability to mend her up to the point she needed to be at. Uh, and then everyone else, uh, like I guess I can rally strength just so that uh, Libra has slightly more strength if they decide to go for him. I am glad that they are just like honing in on Anna. I don't, I wonder if that's an AI thing related to the store. Nope, okay, he just decided. I guess he could only attack Anna. He didn't have a hand axe. I don't know why I thought he did. Um, I 
I mean, this just feels like free experience right here. This is a free XP machine. Because he has 0% crit, despite using Thunder. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I shouldn't have said free experience machine. Uh, move her up. And then, because these guys will get baited in when I go for the first chest. But I'm pretty sure not before then. move people forward just in case I need them. This is uh, definitely an easier chapter than the last one to turtle on. And we will put Anna here. Uh, conveniently, uh, one of the skills that Anna comes with for free, since she is considered a promoted thief, uh, thieves promoting to tricksters, uh, she gets movement plus one, which is just very useful. All right, uh, I would like both of these chests, but it's very possible that I only get one. Um, and it'll be this one because this allows me to sort of choke the point. Plus an arm scroll is good. Move you up just in case we have the need. What is Krom's level anyway? He's three, okay. I would like to eventually get him 10, but like I don't think I need him to be promoted until the uh, very last like level. Nice dual guard. Nice critical. 84 is a lot of damage. I've seen 84 so many times this map. And then uh, these brigands like they theoretically pose a risk to her. But they have such low hit chances that I'm not too terribly concerned. Maybe I should have given her her steel sword so that she wouldn't be one rounding them all. Not least because um, I don't know how many uses there are left on the Levin sword, but uh, oh yeah, okay, so I missed that one chest item which I could have prevented by giving her the steel sword because then she wouldn't counter the guy. Oh well, not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, I got an arm scroll, I got a talisman, I got a large bullion. Uh, that's the Anna Paralog. Paralog 4, like, comment, and subscribe for more awakening fun times. Bye bye